Well, you usually don't have a lot of energy. You know, any mitochondrial disease just means you have less less energy. You know, and so and this is actually becoming even a bigger problem. Younger people, like take Jonathan, that you know he'll be on tonight's um, live stream. And, you know, John, Jonathan basically has had a, a lot of mitochondrial problem and a lot of fatigue and problems like that. Well, most people don't realize that if your mummy is already damaged with mitochondrial insufficiency and then she's basically got also already some damaged reverse Krebs cycle, which is dragging in more and more um, deuterium into her cells and making them less functional, that all that excess stuff, she actually, you know, when a, a mother has this massive amount, when she actually, um, see, some deuterium is required as a growth factor in children. Excess amount does damage. And what happens is the body will just suck it in from the mother. There's no sort of like control. Traditionally, a mother would have been healthier, eating a species appropriate diet and only would have sent in only a certain proportion would have gone in and would have depleted her deuterium to such a level, she'd be very healthy and recover very fast. Also, her milk would have less deuterium and also she would bounce back and recover really like a lot of the tribal women do. They just pop them out and start, um, you know, um, breastfeeding them and, you know, it's just, and then they can get on with their work and life and all that. Got all this energy. I wonder why. Western women don't because already a whole lot of carbs are damaging their babies and they're damaging themselves, their mitochondria, and they have excess and the children are taking up more and more deuterium in very early age, damaging the mitochondria. And the more mitochondria you damage, you end up causing reverse Krebs cycle and reverse Krebs cycle pulls in to the mitochondria even more deuterium to accelerate the damage. And so the damage becomes worse and worse and worse. And then you end up with cancer. No wonder we're getting to a stage where they're saying, oh, one in three will have cancer in America. Wonderful. In the next decade or two. I wonder why. Because we're basically putting so much deuterium in ourselves. We'll basically be all in wheelchairs with cancer. Fantastic. You know, a complete collapse of our society by that stage. That's, yeah, what a future. Mm. Seems to be working very well for the depopulation strategy of our overlords. That's just an opinion, YouTube. It's just an opinion. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a hypothesis <laughs> on my part. <laughs> Gotta correct myself. <laughs> Yet to be proven. <laughs> but uh, yes, you know, so. Through multiple through multiple approaches, we're being slowly damaged quite severely. Um, so you know, you basically have less and less energy, and uh, you know, at some stage you'll need a walking frame to just to move. So yes, or a nurse to assist you out of your chair. Yeah, so that's how bad it gets over time. So you may have a lot of mitochondrial damage and all that. And still people say, well, how come these people are not everyone's getting cancer? Because some people have genetics and have better intracellular antioxidant systems that can keep it, a, you, you can sort of counteract some of the damage that glycolysis fermentation causes. And also if you've got less damage in your, in, in your cells, your cells themselves, you can still run on fermentation without basically being sufficiently damaged yet into, into a senescent state to basically do become more vulnerable to become cancerous. So there's a whole lot of reasons why it takes some time, but at some point it will increase. That's why the rates of cancer are outpacing many other diseases currently. And why they're talking about one in three, it's not accidental. It's a mitochondrial, um, you know, it's mitochondrial damage due to deuterium overload, pretty much. So what you need to do is take deuterium depleted water to lower, 
I'm going to do a video. Lama's been running around finding me all sorts of sources. A couple of other people as well have notified me, telling me about different water sources and their and lower pricings and stuff like that. So we've been looking at a lot of things at the moment. And so I'll be able to put a video together to provide a bit of additional information to help people fix, lower their intra, their cellular stored um, levels of, or, you know, sort of flush out or reduce the amount of deuterium in their body pretty much by putting in lower deuterium water. What you're doing is you are basically re reducing by diluting the levels in your body so we can slow down the damage. Then we can use taurine to basically repair and amplify melatonin and melatonin will go in there and repair the electron chains in the mitochondria. So good sleep, blue blocking glasses at night and stuff like that for healthy mitochondria. You know, so, you know, you've done, we've all done plenty of damage and now we have to pay the, the piper with the tyranny depleting water, glasses and all sorts of other things to try and fix things and reverse a lot of that damage and make our mitochondrial density higher in our cells so they work more like youthful cells uh, or undamaged youthful cells you know so then we end up with a longer life healthier lifespan rather than a sh rather than a chronic lifespan that goes like that and you, you may live longer on drugs keeping you alive and zapping you with um you know contraindicating um, radiation or whatever else but that's not a life living. If you can't get out of a seat and you're decrepit, you know, so.